Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. And just a quick announcement first before we get on to the meat of the video. I, let's see, it is, so it's the 11th today. Veterans Day, happy Veterans Day. Um, in about two weeks or so is American Thanksgiving. Uh, generally every year I do a big sale starting on Thanksgiving Day uh, around 1 p.m. Eastern time. A bunch of watches, it's usually a lot of madness going on. Uh, and then leading up to that day, I usually do a couple of videos where I show you some watches that will be on special. That is not today's video. Uh, that will, first video I think is gonna go out uh, about a week from when you're seeing this on the 19th. That will be my Black Friday preview video number one. There'll be a Black Friday preview video number two, and then the sale will go live. As on Thanksgiving day at one o'clock. I'll explain all that in another video. But there is another time of year that comes around uh, every, every year. And towards the end of the calendar year, beginning of next calendar year, I start to um, cycle out some brands and try to cycle in some new brands. Uh, so uh, there will be some brands leaving the store. Some brands are just discontinued, whatever. Uh, but I have a, a new brand came across, literally came across my email, uh, and I was very excited to do it. Uh, it is uh, Axios. Um, I, I read a little bit about the company. I, it comes from the same minds as the guy that um, started uh, Zelos. Zelos? Zelos, Z E L O S. Uh, really cool watches. Uh, those are really nice. Uh, but so I was able to, to score this brand, and I think uh, it's got a great micro brand vibe. Uh, really nice watches, good price points, excellent, excellent specs on all of them. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I actually, I've said it in a few videos, I don't have any 38 millimeter watches. So uh, I said, you know what? Let's take the Blue Islander in 38 millimeter for a test drive. So I am, and it is a good size. Uh, six and three quarter inch wrist. As you know, I usually go for the larger size. I'm still sporting the white one, whoops, on the other wrist. Uh, but the 30 millimeter, I agree with you guys. It's kind of a nice size. So maybe we'll see some more 38, 40 millimeter watches coming out of the Islander lineup. Anyway, uh, let's check out Axios. So the new brand is called Axios. I have four of them here, all from their, this guy's upside down, all from their, uh, what they call the flagship lineup. Um, there are two lineups. The other one is completely sold out. So I started with the flagship and when the other models and new models come in, uh, I'm sure I'll be getting uh, more. Even before this video hit, um, they've already started selling. So I think uh, it certainly is resonating with a lot of you. Uh, so basically, usual stuff, uh, four watches, uh, all the same, just varying in the color scheme. They're all named after some sort of a ship, uh, Ajax and uh, some other ones. But I'm just going to basically focus on the watches because uh, I think they're really cool. Um, I, I guess there's two blues, right? But I'll start with I'll start with this guy. So we are looking at the Axios flagship 40 millimeter dive watch with box sapphire crystal. We'll get into that in uh, just a second. Really cool. So. Uh, what do I think is going to appeal to you guys? The size. It is 40 millimeters in diameter. I actually measured the crystal. The crystal is around 29 millimeters. So great size. So a 40 millimeter case, a little over 11 thick to the top of that box sapphire, uh, AR coated on the inside, 46 and a half lug tip to lug tip, solid screw down case back with a beautiful, beautiful engraving. Uh, this is Axios flagship there, numbered. This one happens to be 92 out of 200. Uh, let's see what else we got written here. Automatic Miota, Sapphire Crystal. It is powered by a Miota 9015 movement, which is a 28,800 beats per hour movement. So you are looking at eight ticks per second on the seconds hand. Super duper smooth. Uh, 20 millimeter lug. They uh, solid link solid end link bracelet they all come on this beads of rice style bracelet sized with a screwdriver logoed clasp lots and lots of micro adjust double push button deployant uh let's see no divers extension i didn't think so uh, but still a beautiful beautiful milled scissor clasp really nice looking nice solid snaps as i mentioned it is on this beads of rice bracelet they do include all of them do include a rubber dive strap. You guys remember my Phoebus video about my pet peeve with the Phoebus strap? Look at that. They include a buckle. Uh, 
a signed buckle. This is kind of like a, I'm call it a mock Tropic strap because Tropic is actually a brand name. Uh, this is just meant to look like it. It is not a real Tropic strap. We'll call it Tropic style, whatever. Even comes with spring bars or well, spring bar. I think I, <laughs> I think I dropped one when I picked it up. But yeah, it comes with the extra spring bars for it. We have a 120 click. Can I say beautiful unidirectional ratcheting bezel? I mean, I can't get over how solid this clicking is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. I, oh, wow. It reminds me almost of a marathon bezel. It's so solid. It's so clicky and so clunky. Just snaps right into place. And beautiful etching or uh, coin edging on the side of the bezel. So it's easy, very easy to turn. Uh, we do have a uh, brushed case side, some polishing there, brushed on the top of the lugs, the beads of rice is polished in the middle. All creates a great, oops, a great effect. It is a sapphire bezel insert with loom. We'll get into the, the loom in a minute, and the watch itself has some C3 and BGW9. Uh, oh, screw down crown with a logo. You can see the logo. Let me just go like that. You can see it. I know I see me. You don't want to see me. You already saw me. Check out the dial. So look how they did the date. The date window actually matches the dial color. It's done in white. Beautiful silver hands. Nice visible loom at the end of the seconds hand. This looks absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. Great looks. Different looking. It's not your typical watch oh um, i did mention before oh let's mention the price 4.99 for any of them uh so 4.99 what's 4.99 getting you so let's look at the uh accoutrement if you will uh you're getting a miyota 9015 movement which is your higher end miyota movement 20,800 beats per hour like i said you are getting a box sapphire crystal explain that explain in just a second and a sapphire insert on the bezel i would say and obviously a beautiful dial really nice bracelet buckle extra strap uh, so you're right in the ballpark of good pricing box sapphire if you look at the side profile you would not call this you could call it a, it's domed slightly but you wouldn't call it a domed crystal uh, because of the very steep step up at the edge of the crystal the crystal comes across and comes down very sharply that is a box sapphire generally watches of long ago would have been a box acrylic box acrylic is very easy to make because they just blow it into a mold this box sapphire box sapphire is very expensive to make i know because i sell box sapphire crystals aftermarket for uh seiko presage uh, so they are pricey to make really nice looking so that's what box crystal is anyway so we have four varieties like i said uh this guy I believe they call it teal this guy i'll call him blue beautiful beautiful deep blue matching date window flagship again 220 uh 200 meters excuse me 330 feet what one second i'm sorry 660 feet 200 meters 660 feet uh nice deep blue dial nice markings nice bezel i'll do a loom shot on on them in in, in just a minute uh, but same bracelet but nice beautiful blue dial we do a black or they do a black. I didn't say we do a black. Kind of like a gilt, uh, gilted dial. Uh, you've got gold logo, gold accents on the numbering, the date frame. Really nice looking. A little bit of a red triangle there. Eh, it's kind of odd, but it still works with the gold looking. Okay, and then the last one. Another black dial done in silver. But now we have this, um, what color you want to call this? mint and an orange uh two-tone diving bezel accented orange seconds hand kind of you know, obviously matches this looks really really nice um let's um let's check out a little loom action so there they glow look how nice it looks little bgw9 on the dial and then you can see it at the uh three nine and twelve and then the rest of the dial is done in c3 green and the loomed sapphire insert. They all glow the same, uh, but they all glow extremely well. And then we'll just uh, bring it home with a wrist shot uh, below the bone, above the bone. 40 millimeters is, is excellent. Um, wears really well. Um, I, I like the way it, 
I don't know if it's a box sapphire or if it's just the, the nice flatness of the bezel. has great presence on the wrist, even though it's only 40 millimeters. Um, and of course, that teal dial color <laughs> helps things along immensely. I think that'll wrap up this video. This has been Mark from LongIronWatch.com showing you the uh, the new Axios flagship models. New brand to the store. Come and check them out. Please like the video if you enjoyed them. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.